Hello, welcome to the video series dedicated to the only show gloating that they have 100% of the Lisa Vanderpump that you want. That's right, I'm talking about Bravo's original series, Vanderpump Rules. It's season 7, everybody, and I'm super excited that this show is back. Besides MTV's The Challenge, I'm the most excited for this TV show. It's one of my favorites. And so let's jump, jump into the season 7 premiere by talking about Jax and Brittany. Now, last season, if you don't remember, they were having a bit of a rocky year as they were dealing with Jax's unfaithfulness when he uh, had relations with Faith, who you may have recognized from MTV's X on the Beach and The Challenge Season 32, The Final Reckoning. Now, they had this bit of a thing where they were broken up, back together, broken up, and then... Jack's untimely, uh, his dad untimely died, which was very upsetting, and uh, Brittany was there despite everything that Jax has done to her. She was there to help pick up the pieces and be there for his darkest time, and uh, we are back with them right now, and Jax is making her a sandwich. He is a loving, tentative, caring boyfriend, and even Brittany was like, he's the man that I always knew that was deep down inside him. Yeah, it just took a tremendous amount of guilt to get him there which screams true love. Now talking about Jackson, Brittany goes right into another character of Vanderpump Rules and that is James, yes, DJ James, who uh, DJs at Sir every Tuesday night on a little segment he likes to call See You Next Tuesday, which is a classy name by the way. Um, he decided to, one of his nights DJing, he got up on stage, started to freestyle rap, Ugh. and then he uh, had the line that says, hey y'all, remember when Jax effed Faith? Which Brittany was working that night. She ran out crying. Um, he said he apologized, and, but he was still talking mad crap about the whole situation uh, simultaneously when Jax and Brittany was talking about it. And he was talking mad crap to Ariana and Tom who was getting the bar ready for that night's service. And uh, he was pretty much talking mad crap until Jax comes walking in, decides to be like, yo man, remember when I bought you underwear? Which None of my friends bought me underwear, so I don't know if I'm missing out, if I don't have the right friends, or what's going on? What's my friendship like? Um, but anyways, James is like, yeah, I remember, and I was modeling in front of the cameras. And then Jax was like, yo, I'm not gonna invite you at all to any of mine or Britney's uh, get-togethers, and that made, that seemed to make James visibly upset until Jax walked out and he was like, yeah, you better walk out. Which means that uh, James has not lost his lovable tool bag ways that we know and love. Now jump over to a waitress that's doing her ship right now is Sheena. Now last season she was infatuated, obsessed, and just like crazed over this guy named Rob who I don't even know if he actually knows her name or he, there was a lot of miscues where she was saying that he was saying that she he loved her and all this other stuff but when he was talking to Jax and everybody that was not the case in the, by his standards which he could be double talking who knows. Um, basically, he drafted his fantasy football team, went to Sheena's, broke up with her, and now she's just like playing the field a little bit, which was, you know what? Go have some fun. Go to Las Vegas with Kayla from The Challenge and go have some fun. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not surprised that the first person you got together with after your divorce was finalized didn't work out. It just doesn't normally happen that way. Uh, next, we go to Lala, who's hosting that night. Let's see what's happening in La La Land. Well, guess what? Her boyfriend's divorce is finalized. And uh, she gets to scream his name to the top of the mountains or to the camera lens, which she's like, it's Randall. Which anybody with half a mind and an internet connection last season could have looked up and found out all their information, both his and hers. And guess what? I did. So I get where you're coming from, but it, it kind of lost its all meaning when you could just look it up on the internet. It doesn't matter how many times you try not to say his name on camera, we'll find it. Uh, next, let's go to Tom and Schwartz. Last season, they joined Lisa Vanderpump in a limited partnership to her bar, her new bar, Tom Tom, which is named after them. Uh, they went to a limited partnership, and we were in this vicious cycle where they would, she would give them a responsibility to do, and they would kind of just like stumble on it, skirt the skirt or shirt the responsibility. I can't remember if it's a shirt or a skirt. They would skirt the responsibility and kind of like not do it to the fullest of their ability or how she wanted it to and then she would get frustrated have to get somebody else mediated and then they would get frustrated or Tom would get frustrated Schwartz would just be like cool let's just do whatever they say um so basically they were supposed to come up with a list of cocktails a definitive list written down pen and paper or typed up email 
given it to her, yet yeah, that seemed too hard. Like just getting a pen and paper or going to Staples. I don't know what they have in California. They could, I, I'm pretty sure there's Staples in California or an Office Depot or whatever. Just go get a pen and paper, write it down. But they get to this like meeting and they're just like, oh, we got some good ideas up here. What I think they just do is they were just like, oh, you should write down a list of cocktails. They're like, cool, let's go do that. It turns into day drinking at one of their apartments. They probably nap together, like woke up, not remembering what to do. And then they go down to this meeting and then they're just like, oh, why are you getting your daughter involved? I thought you gave it to us. I thought we like, come on, man, get your stuff together. You got this. Just put it down on a piece of paper. If you would have had it. This was a huge cycle last season that happened over and over and over again. Just get it done. She'll give you all the responsibility. Just get it done. Next, I want to talk about my new favorite character and the newest character to be added to this list, this slate of characters, and that is Stasi's new beau, Bo. Yes, we don't have to ever see the human douche with a ponytail named Patrick who freaked me and creeped me out every time I saw him on camera last season. He just made me feel so awkward and so uncomfortable. But this new guy, Bo, he is awesome. He is charismatic, charming, funny as all get out. I don't know, he's just very personable and I like him. I'm not a huge fan of Stasi. I wasn't a fan of her before she left. Whenever she came back, I wasn't like, oh yay, Stasi's back. But if I have to take Stasi, if I to get more Bo, if I have to deal with Stasi, bring them both on because I want to see more Bo. He is just so cool. So now this episode finally ends with a proposal. That's right, Jax decides to propose to Brittany at this like crab shack beachfront. Um, it wasn't his finest moment, but why well, she's yelling for a tray? But you know what? It's a nice thought that counts, and he is doing a great job. And he was nervous as all get out. Granted, when Stasi told Katie and Kristen, they were like, wasn't it just last year this whole Faith thing was going down and they they were saying that he didn't find her attractive and didn't want kids with her? Well, I mean, people can change. You never know. Dr. Phil tells me all the time, people can change. So he proposes to Brittany. Brittany says yes, and they live happily ever after. Wrong. This is only the first episode, and when we saw it in the teaser trailer for the next, for this upcoming season, there's laughs, uh, friendship, and then there's tons and tons of drama, which I cannot wait to get into. But that's it for me this week. Leave me a comment down below on what you like about Vanderpump Rules. Tell me what uh, is your, who's your favorite character? Who's your least favorite character? Is it James? Because it's probably James. Or Kristen. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear what you have to say. I love this show and I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it. But while you're down there, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, watch Vanderpump Rules on Bravo on Monday nights. And catch me here uh, Tuesdays talking about it. So I'll see y'all next week. Peace.